Gary, lots to talk about, so we're going to dive right in. Let's start with a general overview of Troubadour Resources. Okay, well, Troubadour is a brand new company uh, to be listed on uh, the TSX Exchange, um, hopefully in early June. Um, the, uh, the company uh, is able to identify a project in southern BC, it's a copper project, and it's really came about by, from one of our um, uh, technicians that, uh, that was employed with one of our companies uh, and actually found um, which, which he believed is to be this lost trench from the 1960s. Which, which you told me before we went on, is such a great hook yeah, well, to your company, what you're doing right now, yeah. in search of the lost trench in southern BC. Yeah, that's, that's correct. And back in the 1960s, uh, a logging contractor uh, had been putting in a logging road, obviously, and uh, came across some very interesting looking rock. He was a kind of a part-time uh, prospector. Um, he did, then uh, looked at it, it looked interesting. He did some drilling and blasting over this, uh, this area and he sampled it and came back at 0.87% copper, over 125 meters. Mm -hmm. um, back in the 60s, that was really non-economic. And so what, what he uh, wound up doing, that trench essentially got forgotten about. He, did, he filed some assessment work and as a result, that wound up as a min file occurrence within the provincial government. Right. And so the location of that trench was, was plotted and uh, you know, back in the 80s, there was a big uh, foray to the north. Uh, everybody was looking for, you know, uh, this lost trench. A major company was up there, did 6,000 meters of drilling, and, you know, couldn't really find it. Anything. And it wasn't until uh, uh, about five years ago, uh, one of our technicians uh, doing prospecting on his own said, well, geez, this trench is really interesting. Well, maybe I'll do some geo-referencing. I'll try to figure out exactly where this trench is. And lo and behold, he says, well, geez, I think it's two kilometers away wow. from where it was plotted. So uh, sure enough, he staked the ground, went out in the field, had a look, and he saw this nice depression, which you would expect after 50 years uh, of everything sloughing in, and it ran for at least you know 100, 125 meters. So he says, well, geez, I'm pretty sure this is the lost trench. And uh, so he brought it to us, and I said, well, you know, geez, well, let's maybe we'll form a company around that. So you did some soil geochemistry over top of the area. You did some uh, magnetometer work, you know, the magnetic re response for the ground. And just recently, we did some uh, uh, induced polarization, which you know, looks deeper and uh, it tells you what the chargeability of the ground is. And uh, geez, it all seems to kind of match. We have a very large copper anomaly within the soils. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, um, uh, from the geophysics that were done uh, and the and the and consequently the IP, it shows that and it lines up nicely with the, where this trench location is. Okay. And I, I'm sure this is taking up a lot of the time, focus, and energy of your company. Uh, but also, you've got some more geophysic uh, plans for the fall. That's correct. Yeah, we're we're going to actually we're probably going to do the geophysics this this summer actually, mm -hmm. and uh, following up uh, to f further define the drill targets. And uh, from that, once we define the f further define the drill targets. We will then drill this this fall. Actually, we hope to be drilling this fall. Okay, and, and then you, of course, waiting on the permits, and then yeah, that's right. Yeah, we, we're, we're pretty much uh, got the permits now. We'll have to do some adjustments to them based on our geophysics. And I, I can't let you go without asking this: whether you're a country music fan or not, watching at home, yeah. um, Troubadour, the name yeah. of the company, has a really interesting story that ties in with country legend George Strait. Can you it, tell it, us a little bit about that. It certainly does. <laughs> yeah, um, when our, our our field crew went out uh, for the very first time to the property. Um, there, and again, this is along forest logging trails and things like that, and uh, so very remote. And the first thing they do, they get out of the truck, they look around in the bush, there's a CD. Well, geez, that's a funny place to find a CD. So they go over there and pick <laughs> yeah. up the CD and, huh, George Street, who's that? You know, and so they decided, well, let's, you know, plug it in. You, and you got say, no radio or anything? They got no radio, so right. they, okay. yeah, and so they plug it in and they listen to it. And for the next six weeks, back and forth to the property, they were listening to George, George Strait, Strait, every time. And of course, they weren't country and western fans then, but the whole crew is now. And they know every word to the song, and as a result, Troubadour, <laughs> as a result, they wanted the name of the company, Troubadour Resources. Uh, the property went from the Peach property to the Amarillo property, from Amarillo by morning. And uh, ironically, most of these guys went uh, last November flew down to Vegas to uh, see George Strait. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, yeah. you, you cannot fail after having found the Lost Trench, and you've got uh, George Strait as inspiration. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's right. right. Yeah, that's uh, I wish you luck. Uh, thank you very much. 2018. Uh, Gary, thank you. We've been talking with Gary Schellenberg, who is the CEO of the George Strait-inspired <laughs> name, Troubadour Resources. <laughs> Best of luck. Thanks.